My greetings to everyone. In the ongoing series of Principles of Marketing, today we will be talking on promotional decisions. So let's see what is communication. Communication process refers to the steps and activities involved in the exchange of information, thoughts, ideas or feelings between the individuals or the groups. It is a complex and dynamic process that involves a sender, a message, medium or channel a receiver feedback and often the noise or the barriers that can affect the effectiveness of communication. There are several definitions to this effect, so let's dive into the definitional part. There are several famous authors and communication scholars who have provided the important definitions of communication process. So let's do by Shannon and Weaver. The Claude Shannon and Weaver in their groundbreaking work the Mathematical Theory of Communication, 1949, defined communication as the process of transmitting the information from one point to another. Let's see what Laswell has to say about communication. He was an American political scientist and communication theorist. He proposed a model of communication known as Laswell model, in which he defined the communication as who says what is which channel to whom and to what effect. According to Birio, a communication theorist, he emphasized the importance of relationship between the sender and the receiver in his SMRC model. He defined the communication as the process of creating an understanding through the transmission of a message. Let's see about the stages of communication. In the stages of communication, we have a sender and sender initiates the communication and may be an individual group or organization. The sender's thought, ideas or emotions, they drive the creation of the message. Then the next is in the stages of communication after sender, we have a message. The message can be verbal, written, non-verbal and serves as a content being communicated. It encapsulates the information, opinion, facts or emotions that the sender wishes to convey. Then we have encoding of the message. During the encoding, the sender translates their thoughts into a formal suitable for communication. This involves choosing the appropriate words, structuring the sentences and possibly using the symbols or the visuals. Next we have the channel. The channel is the medium through which the message is transmitted. The channels can be face to face, written, letters, emails. It can be oral by speech and phone calls. It can be non-verbal by the body language and the facial expressions. Now what is a decoding? The receiver interprets the encoded message, extracting the meaning based on their understanding, experience and context. The successful communication relies on the decoder accurately understanding the sender's intended meaning. Then we have a receiver. The receiver is the largest target audience for the message. Their comprehension and interpretation influence the effectiveness of the communication process. Then we have a feedback. The feedback is the response from the receiver to the sender's message. It provides a valuable information on whether the message was understood as intended and allows for adjustments if needed. Next is your noise. Noise refers to any interference that disrupts the transmission or the reception of the message. It can be external. It could be a loud environment, it could be internal that is preconceived notions, it can be semantic that is the language barriers, it could be psychological that is the emotional state. Next important part as far as the stage of communication is concerned is the context. The context includes the circumstances and the environment in which the communication occurs. Social cultural, physical factors, they impact 
how the messages are perceived and understood. So, we can say as far as the stages in communication is concerned is that the effective communication involves a dynamic interconnected process where the sender encodes a message, selects a suitable channel whereas the message is transmitted through that channel and the receiver decodes it and the feedback is provided. The context and the presence of noise influence the clarity and the success of communication exchange. So, understanding each element is very crucial for improving the communication skills in the various personal and professional settings. Now, what is marketing communication? Marketing communication also known as MARCOM or Integrated Marketing Communication that is IMC. It refers to the various tools and strategies that organization use to communicate their message to their target audience. It plays a very pivotal and a crucial role in building a brand awareness, creating the customer engagement and driving the sales. So, let us see some key points about marketing communication. First and the foremost is that the marketing communication is an integrated approach which means and involves integrating the various communication tools like advertising, public relations, sales promotion, direct marketing, personal selling and digital marketing to deliver a consistent message to the target audience. So, marketing communication the next is your target audience. The effective communication starts with an understanding the target audience specifically about their preferences, needs, behavior, demographics etc. So, the message should be tailored to resonate with their target audience. The next is your brand consistency. Maintaining a brand consistency across all communication channel is very essential for building a brand recognition and the trust. So, this includes the consistent messaging, visuals and the tone of voice. The marketing communication also talk about a clear objectives. Marketing communication campaigns should have a very clear objectives such as increasing the brand awareness, driving the website traffic, generating the leads, boosting the sales or enhancing the customer loyalty. The next is your creative content. As far as the marketing communication is concerned, creative content plays also a very important role as it captures the audience attention, making the message very memorable. Content can also include some visuals, storytelling, videos, infographics and interactive elements. The most importantly, the marketing communication is a multi-channel approach, leveraging the multiple communication channels like social media, email marketing, print advertisements, TV commercials and the websites which help reach a wider audience and engage with the customers at various touch points. Next is that we have some measurable results. It is important to measure the effectiveness of marketing communication efforts using the metrics like reach, engagement, conversion rates, return on investment and the key performance indicators. So, this allows for data driven decision making and optimization of the campaigns. The next important is your feedback and adaptation. Gathering the feedback from the customers and analyzing the data allows the marketer to understand what works and what does not work. So, this feedback loop helps in refining the strategies and improving the future campaigns. The next is your relationship building. Marketing communication is not just about selling the products or the services, but also about building the relationship with the customers. Building trust and loyalty through the communication can lead to the long-term customer satisfaction and advocacy. 
The most important part of the marketing communication is also some ethical considerations, which should adhere to the ethical standards what the marketers have to do and practice in their communication to build the credibility, trust with their audience. It talks about transparency, honesty and respect for the consumer privacy. They are very important considerations in this regard in as well as the marketing communication is concerned. So we have just discussed some key points relating to marketing communication which the organizations can develop effectively through the marketing communication strategies that resonates with their target audience, drive engagement and ultimately contribute to their overall business goals. Now let's talk about the promotional mix. The promotional mix, also known as the marketing communication mix, refers to the combination of the promotional tools and the activities that a company uses to communicate and promote its products or services to the target audience. The four main elements of the promotional mix are advertising, which is a paid and a non-personal form of communication where the company use the various medium platforms to deliver a promotional message to a broad audience. It aims to create an awareness, generate the interest and influence the purchasing decisions. The next is your personal selling. Personal selling involves direct interaction between a company's sale representatives and about the potential customers. So it's a customized approach where the salesperson address the specific needs of the individual customers, provide the detailed product information and building the relationship to facilitate the sales. The next is your public relations. The public relations also called as PR is the practice of managing the communication and the relationship between an organization and its various Publics, including the customers, investors, employees and general public. PR activities include the media relations, events, sponsorships and other efforts to maintain a positive public image. The fourth one is your sales promotion. The sales promotion comprises of the short term incentives or the activities designed to encourage the purchase or the sale of a product or a service, which includes the discounts, coupons, contacts, samples and other tactics aimed at boosting the sales quickly. So we can say about the promotional mix is that the promotion mix is a strategic combination of advertising, personal selling, public relations and the sales promotion, which are tailored to the company's objectives, target audience and the nature of the product or the service. So the promotional mix is a crucial for several reasons in the realm of marketing. The first and the foremost is that why it is important is that it helps in increasing the visibility. Because of this promotional mix strategy, it enhances the visibility of a product or the service through the various channels, ensuring that the target audience is exposed to the promotional message. Next we talk about is a brand awareness. Promotional mix helps in the brand awareness, effective promotional builds and reinforce the brand's awareness, helps the consumers recognize and remember a brand when making a purchasing decisions. The next is your product differentiation. It allows the companies to highlight the unique features and the benefits of their products or services, differentiating them from the competitors in the market. The next we have is a promotion mix that is the customer engagement. The promotion mix helps in creating the opportunities for the customer engagement, interaction and feedback fostering a stronger connection between the brand and its audience. It also helps in boosting the sales. Well-executed promotion can lead to increased sales by attracting the new customers, 
encouraging a repeat purchase and driving immediate buying decisions through the sales promotion. The market expansion. It supports the market expansion efforts by reaching the new audience and demographics, which helping in the companies tap into previously untapped market segments. It also helps in establishing the credibility. Through the public relation activities, the promotion mix helps in building and maintaining a positive brand image, establishing the credibility and trust amongst the consumers. It also helps in adapting to the market changes. The companies can use the promotion mix to quickly adapt to the changes in the market environment, customer preferences and the competitive dynamics. It also helps in communication of the value proposition. The promotional mix allows the companies to effectively communicate their value propositions helping the consumer understand why a product or a service is worth considering and also about the integrated marketing. The promotion mix integrates the various communication channels to create a cohesive and a comprehensive marketing strategy which helps in ensuring a consistent message across the different channels. So in the essence we can say that the promotion mix plays a very vital role in achieving the marketing objectives, driving the sales and building a strong and recognizable brand presence in the market. Now we talk about the promotional mix is important for many reasons which we will talk about now, the importance of promotional mix. Out of this is first is your communication. It serves as a strategic tool for communicating with the target audience, conveying the messages about the products or the services to create the awareness and the interest. Next we talk about is the marketing differentiation. The promotional mix helps distinguish a brand or the product from competitors emphasizing the unique features and the benefits to influence the consumer perceptions. Next we talk about is a sales boost. By effectively promoting the products or the services, the companies can stimulate the demand, attract the new customers and encourage the existing customers to make the purchases thereby boosting the sales. Next is your brand building. It contributes to the development and reinforcement of the brand identity, helping and establish a positive brand image in the minds of the consumers. The next important part is your consumer education. Through various promotional activities, the companies can educate the consumers by features, uses and advantages of their products, facilitating the informed purchasing decisions. Next is your market expansion. The promotional mix suggests efforts to enter the new market or the target different customer segments, aiding in the expansion of the company's market reach. The next we talk about is the relationship building. Promotion, especially through the social media and other interactive channels, helps in enabling the companies to engage with their audience, fostering the relationship and, of course, the loyalty. The next is your adaptation to the market changes. One of the most important points as far as the importance of the promotional mix is concerned is the adaptation to the market changes. The companies can use the promotional mix to quickly respond to the changes in the market environment, consumer trends and the competitive landscapes. Also helps in product launch success. During the launch of the new products or services, a well-crafted promotional mix is very essential for creating initial buzz, generating the interest and driving the early sales. The next is your integrated marketing communication that is IMC. It is one of the significant terms as far as the importance of the promotional mix is concerned. It contributes to the overall IMC strategy by coordinating the various promotional elements to ensure a consistent 
and a unified message across all communication channels. So, hence we can say that promotional mix is important because it is instrumental in achieving the marketing goals, building the brand equity, driving the sales and maintaining a strong connection with the target audience in dynamic and competitive marketplace. Now, let us see what advertising is all about one of the first promotional mix part element. Advertising is a paid non-personal communication strategy used by the organizations to promote the products, services or the ideas. It involves creating and disseminating the persuasive messages through the various media channels to reach a target audience and influence their attitude, behavior or purchasing decisions. The characteristics of the advertising is that the first is your paid communication. Advertising involves a financial investment by the advertiser to secure the space or the time in media outlet for the placement or the promotional message. The next is your non-personal. Unlike the personal selling, advertising is not a direct one or a face-to-face -face interaction. It addresses the mass audience rather than individual customers. Next is that it is having a controlled message. Advertisers have a control over the content, timing and the placement of advertising message which allows for a strategic planning and also about the brand management. Next we have is a mass reach. Advertising has the ability to reach a large and diverse audience through various media channels like television, radio, print, online and social communication. It has a persuasive intent also. The primary goal of advertising is to persuade and influence the target audience whether to purchase a product, adopt a behavior and embrace a particular idea. Also, it has the creative element like visual slogans, jingles, storytelling to capture the attention and leave a lasting impression. It is also objective driven which is designed with a very specific objectives in mind whether you talk about building the awareness, generate the leads, drive the sales or achieve the other marketing oriented goals. And of course, we talk about the measurable impact. It has the measurable impact including the reach, impressions, click through rates and return on investment. Thank you so much.